Jersey Sports Zone's high school football coverage is being brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Saturday night football on the Jersey Shore, a great opener in the Shore Conference's Colonial Division. Colts Neck at Point Pleasant Borough. The Group 2 Panthers have high hopes in 2023. Their schedule features a number of Group 4 schools. Great crowd on hand for this one. Colts Neck with a third and long on its opening drive. Dom Beninato is under pressure, and he takes off. Beninato with a great scramble to gain 14. It's a first down into Point Burrow territory, and that resourcefulness pays off. That's because the Cougars turn to their war course. And how's this for the start of Chris Scully's senior season? See ya! 42 yards! Scully's going to be one of the best backs in New Jersey this year. Wow. Colts Neck out to a 7-0 lead. Point Burrow's bread and butter is the option, and Matt Oliphant is a wizard at it. Let's freeze it here. He does an amazing job of selling this, pulls it out of Jake Croce's bread basket. Croce sells it well, and Oliphant takes off. 55 yards for Matt Oliphant. What a response by the Panthers. We're tied up at seven. You have to worry about Croce and Oliphant because they can bust a huge play at any moment. But hold on, there's another big play threat. This is freshman Jake Clayton. Welcome to the varsity football. He's got wheels, 31 yards. First touchdown as a high schooler. Point Burrow with a 14-7 lead at the end of one. Late first half. Once again, it's Beninato escaping danger and making something happen with his feet. Another awesome scramble for the Colts neck QB. The Cougars are on the move. Closing seconds. Beninato throws a dart. Aiden Diaz makes the catch. 17 yards. Just 22 seconds left on the clock. Colts neck with a lot of momentum heading into the locker room. At the half, we're tied up at 14. Opening kickoff of the second half. How's this for a tone setter? Jake Clayton picks it up off the bounce, and he goes 0 to 60 in the blink of an eye. The freshman is gone. 77 yards to the crib. His second touchdown of the game. That is something else. Point Burrow with a 21 14 lead. Huge defensive moment here. Fourth down for the Cougars near midfield. Beninato swings it to Scully. Owen Dewey Saki with the shoestring tackle. Point Burrow gets the ball back, and it didn't take long to capitalize on the great field position. Next play, Jake Croce busts one open. He's got daylight in front of him. 56 yards for Croce. Another long Point Burrow touchdown. The Panthers are controlling the third. It's now 28-14. And it's a 21-point third quarter for Point Burrow. Oliphant with his second TD of the night. This one from seven yards out to make it 35-14. Hey, big props to Chris Scully. He was sensational in a losing effort. This is his second touchdown run of the game. 44 yards. Scully finishes with 146 yards. It's a 35-20 game, but there was no stopping the point burrow option. Oliphant with his third touchdown of the night. You got to remember, the Panthers lost an FBS lineman, Cole Skinner, who's at South Florida. But this offensive line was tremendous and a big reason that Point Burrow's off to a great start to the season. 42 to 20 is your final. Oliphant and Croce combined for 314 yards and four scores, and freshman Jake Clayton had two TDs. We talked with the Point Burrow quarterback about the tone setting kickoff return by Clayton that sparked a dominant second half. Right from the locker room at halftime, we knew that we had to come out here and uh, finish the job. You know, we made some quick adjustments. You know, everyone got, got on the same page. And, you know, when Jake ran that thing back, it really set the tone coming out of half. That Colts Neck team is a great team, and they're very well coached. But, you know, I got to give credit to our O-line as well. They played out of their minds tonight, and we had some uh, new starters on the team this year. And, you know, they played great, and I just got to give them all the credit because I was running behind them all game. In Point Pleasant, I'm Rich Crampanis for Jersey Sports Zone. Dot com.